So there I was, in a friend's garden, just taking off some of the lower leaves off their uh, their cordyline palm. Now they are there. Just got to the last couple of leaves there. I've got all the brown ones off, and I'm just taking off a few just to finish it off where they've been bending over a little bit or they got slightly yellowed. I just like to get like a nice even shape around there. Um, I might take this one off because he's, he's flopping down. And when I started to explore in the middle of the tree, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it gives me great pride to announce the arrival of a baby. Can you see this? Oh my goodness me. Look at that, the start of an enormous flower spike. We're filming this at the end of April and in spring. After a few years, we've been, this has been in the ground for quite a few years actually, more, more than five years I would say, it's taken a while to get up to this size. But there we have our first flower spike. And I just wanted to track its, uh, its growth. It should burst into flower in about, uh, in June time. So we've got a month or so when this, with this kind of triffid like explosion of, um, of stem and flower bud and leaves will kind of um, explode out of the top of this palm and we shall see it in flower. I uh, just wanted to show you the, the first step. Might be worth checking your cordial line at home if it's in early spring to see if you've got a flower spike emerging. And what will happen normally as a result of this is that the growth tip of the, um, of the palm tree will, will stop. So it will, instead of having one stem coming out, uh, it's now got one flower spike and behind that flower spike we will get um, a couple of, of, of side shoots. So instead of ha having a, a growth that goes straight up, uh, we'll have a nice bushy head on this, like a multi-stemmed palm tree. How exciting is that? <laughs>